Hello, everyone. This is Ajay Murate, Chief Operating Officer of Enovex. After visiting the vendor site in Asia a couple of weeks ago, I wanted to share with everyone an update on the factory acceptance testing, or what we call FAT for zone two of our production line, which is the same zone we showed on our second quarter results call back in July. The reason we like to show zone two is that it really represents the unique process steps we have designed to build a battery that offers much higher performance than a conventional battery. As a reminder, when I last gave an update, the machines were merely dry cycling, which is to say no batteries were being made as the equipment was new and was being debugged. Since then, we have started the FAT in zone two, which means we are now making batteries based on the Gen 2 process, which is much faster than our Gen 1 current process. So let's take a look. Uh, here we are three months after I showed my last uh, video presentation of the Gen 2 machine progress. Uh, I'm here again uh, at the supplier site where the FAT is uh, already started on the zone two. Zone one is being done in a different location, but today I'm going to show you glimpses of the zone two FAT work that has been going on. Again, you can see the familiar machines. Why don't you follow me and I will show you what uh, it's called the middle of the stack. You can see there are seven machines here for stacking. Five of them are what, they, what we call the middle of the stack. I'm gonna show you how the middle of the stack machine is operating. Uh, here we can go closer and take a closer look. Of the, you can see the the, the material is being fed to the rollers, which are loaded here. And you can see the take a closer look here. And you can bring in the camera a little bit closer. Here the stacking is six stacks at a time. And you can see the fast web speed moving on a linear motor and doing the punching. As a reminder, on Gen 1, we used individual stacking heads, which had a tendency to fall out of alignment. What you see here is much more efficient because we are stacking on a single die head, six at a time. When the stack is done, now we need to measure absolutely how the stack is straight and it is exactly lined up. So there is no chance of shorting between a cathode anode. So something called a C2A measurement, which is being done here on this machine. And we're gonna show it operate now. See the six, six. Six, six stacks coming coming from uh, the stackers just now uh, are fed into this machine. Again, every stack is measured using lasers again to make sure that the C to A uh, dimension, which is very critical, is, is met. Again, a lot of metrology in between, a lot, lot of cameras, vision, making sure that the position is correct. And you can see that the stacks are laid down horizontally, two at a time. First time, the, uni the cell gets removed from the unibody and it's a cell, you know, which is, you know, by itself standing outside of the unibody, getting ready for the further processing. So here we see the, after the cell is being born, after the alumina overfill, it is now going into the next process, which is the most critical process for us. Uh, and very unique to us, which is the constrained welding process. The next uh, process in the in the in our battery making is the constrained welding process, where we use a laser to attach the stainless steel constraint, which is so unique to our battery, in that it enables the use of 100% active silicon anode. A few callouts. Number one, you will notice tremendous parallelism in the Gen 2 process. In this process step, for example eight batteries at a time are being prepared for the insertion of the bus bar. Another major call out of the equipment is that you will see no human intervention as the battery moves between process steps, which is very different from Gen 1, where we have had people carrying trays between process steps. You will also note the battery is processed in line using the linear motor technology, which gives a significant boost in the speed. During FAT, we are measuring and assessing all of these dimensions to ensure that when we go into production next year, we hit the ground running with good yield, good speed, and good machine uptime. And here's the bus bar insert, which as you will see, happens very quickly with multiple batteries in parallel. Very important step for us 
to get it right and why we are following a very rigorous process at FAT. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you can see that we have continued to make progress as we hit the necessary milestones to graduate into high volume production next year. And I look forward to updating you again early next year when we can show off this equipment operating at FAB2 in Penang, Malaysia.